Over there. Bunch of 19, 19, oh, look at there. There's probably one of the meanest machine guns ever made, guys. Right there. MG34. The buzz saw. It cycle about, I think it was what, about 13, 1400 rounds a minute. But there you got the dragon right here. Now that thing's what, about 6,000 rounds? 6,000. We have ours tuned down to 3,000. So now these are. Experience. I'll tell you what that is. Now what is that? That's an H3? Yeah, that's the H3. That's, that's an angle, no, H3. A3, M3 AC. Right here? Yes, sir, M3 AC. And that one, that cyclic rate's about 1,200 rounds per minute. Now, that's an aircraft gun? Mm -hmm. It is, yes. See, guys, the difference between an aircraft gun and a normal one is that it depends on the barrel. The other ones are HP heavy barrel. Yeah. And you got the big recoil on the back. That's usually an H3 or whatever. Yeah. Right? There's some AKs, some shotguns. I do believe that, that that's the most made gun in the world, is it not? Which one? It was right there, that's a 40, whatever it is. The Mosin and the guns and the SVT 40. This gun here, I think there's 20 million of them were made, I think, the most made gun in the world. Oh, there's a new Luzi up there. But that's I, actually from Ruger, who makes the Mini 14. No sh In the early 90s, Ruger wanted to get in the submachine game, and it didn't work out so well. Are them real or are they knockoffs? Those are real guns, but we're using their M2, M1s instead of M2s. They were only made by one company that built Initially, them. Yeah, and then they had all this. Uh, That's a paratrooper over there, guys. Is that, what is, what is that, Russian or what is that? This one is, German? This, is this is Egyptian, but it's based on Russians. And this is the Brita, the Italian one. But that there, that's a, is that, that's a Aqua, Aqua, Alpha, Alpha. Yeah. Is that an alpha? Yep. <laughs> the tripod and everything. Yeah. <laughs> this here, guys, is a predecessor to about 90% of the guns, of these machine guns you see. This here takes, it's like a snail mag, eh? Yes, exactly. This here gun is, 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 is a knockoff of, uh, my God, I'm losing my mind. This is a, this is an 18? This is the MP18. This is an 18. I tell you what, there's a suppressed Sterling, and there is, <laughs> there's a Sten gun back there with an eight point sight on it. Why, I don't know, but it does have one. They cost $14 a piece to make. And that's a, that's a suppressed, I take it, that's a suppressed. Yeah, so the Sterling, that's Sterling, a, that's, that's a knockoff. I went from there to the Sterling, did it yeah, not? Yeah. Sterling's a super reliable machine gun. It is, eh? Yeah. Australian. Oh, uh, the Owen. Yes. That one right. Where's the Owen at? It's, it's the ugliest piece of ever made. Oh, see where the tag is? It says Owen Mark 1, Mark 2. Guys, this here piece is probably, I'd have to say, probably the most uncommon gun in here. There's very few of these made, and they were loved by literally everybody that ever used these things. The springs on the inside, they, they guess, does everybody like shooting it? Or? Oh, it's, you know what it is? It's you have your collectors from the UK, UK countries that want to get their hands on that, you know, that weapon. Or when the video, if a new video game comes out with those, sure enough, that's when we see everybody running them. Now, them are, that's a, whatever the f*** it is. PBS 43. But they changed the bolt all around on it. It's kind of a hunk of shit, but you still have it. Now, what is that thing right there? That, which, the MAP 49 or the Swedish K? It's not, beside the grease gun. Yeah, right there. This one is a Swedish K, Carl, made for Carl, uh, Carl Gustav, M45. It's a Gustav, must be not a bad gun then. Yeah, it's a really good gun, and the Navy SEALs used them in uh, Vietnam. Super reliable, good. good rate of fire. Weapon does not climb at all whatsoever. It stays wherever you shoot. This thing is so close to one of them things, it's unbelievable. Yeah. 
Now here's the thing, if you ever have a problem with the bolts with these guns right here, and this thing over here, that's, that's not the right gun. I thought that was an MP40. Oh, that's a Yugo M56. That's a post-war gun. But anyways, P38. Okay. Now, if you, oh, well, this one hasn't been converted yet, eh? No, that's a full auto. Yeah, but it's right here, the spring in the inside. Yeah. Okay. Now, the bolts out of these Sten guns, if you ever have a problem with the bolts in these guns, them bolts all fit in that gun, that gun, this gun, and the Lanchester. That's all the same one. This is not the same bolt, but they will work same here. Change if you need to. You gotta take and change the, the lock mechanism where they go, and they pull these out and you put a spring in them, because I guess they don't like this here. Actually, it's hard to find the parts in there. Yeah, well, we find a, found a company in Germany that remakes all the parts for us. Yeah, about $300 for that spring, I think. So we're not allowed to have any of this stuff. Well, you got Stalin's typewriter in a record player, I see. <laughs> yeah. Yep, Stalin's record player. Stalin's record player. Why did they call that? It's got a great big old magazine that looks like a record play, like a record on top of it. That there's what that's an A4. Yes, sir. A4s. That gun's old, by the way. That gun was invented back or made probably in 1920 or 1930 or something by John Moses Browning. He designed countless weapons, eh? That looks like a mean piece right there. Is that a, third, a 60? Yeah, that's the M60E6. That's, that's a good gun. Oh, yeah. That one's light enough to hold in the arms, and you can aim it from the shoulder. That's what the Denmark military uses. That's a, which we'll call it. Rising. 45. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Risings. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's a super rare gun, I think. Beretta 38. That's a really super rare gun, like a super, super. This gun here, very, very uncommon. Very uncommon. Yeah, oh, quick change. Oh, 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 oh. There's another Owens. You know how f***ing rare them guns are? Oh yeah, it's my job is finding all these parts every day. Do you know how rare that f*** is? Yeah. Uh, trust me, it's hard to find. Like, I see, I think it's older with that wooden chunk of stock on it. The Scorpion I was telling you about? Yeah, that's it there. And there's the replacement for the Dishka. This is the Dishka's replacement. And here's the Dishka right here. The Russian 50. That's a Kraut gun up there, two of them. Both of them, yep. And here's an MG. This one's down right now, but if you're familiar with these, you like the older things. Let's see. Yep. Drop your fingers. Here's. You get the lock out of it, eh? Yeah, pop, let, drop the top one. You see, this one's from 19, this one's from 1918. They still? Sandow. Spandau? Yeah. Spandau. Okay. That's what they used to call them, eh? All of them Spandau. Yep. And. There's a saying I do believe in Germany. MG15 is what they, it's a saying, it's MG15. And I don't know, I can't remember too much about it, but they do have a saying over there. Yeah. Now here's something. Did you know what they used to do when they were in the trenches with these fucking things? No. Well, they'd fill them full of water. And I guess if you shoot 200 rounds out of them, it'll boil the water and you can make tea. So I'm sure the Brits were all about that, right? Exactly, that's what they would do. But this here, this here is a 15, is it not? Oh yeah, 0815, exactly. Okay, because they're backwards, they're backwards to uh, to the other ones. Yeah. You shoot backwards, the cycle rate's a little bit better. Now here you go, here here it is right here, boys. This here's a Mark II, a Mark III Bren gun. We like to say that they're the finest weapon ever made. I don't know whether they are or not, but they are pretty damn good. I think that's our Canadian made model as well. Inglis? Yeah, Inglis in Vancouver. Wash Machine Company made them. Yep. Yeah, they were made, that's Inglis, that's Bren, that's, that's a CZ actually, is it not? It was a knockoff of the CZ. Well, a CZ, yeah. ZV26. Z, yeah. We just don't have this stuff in our country. Now. This gun is super expensive. This is probably, I do believe, probably one of the first of this style of weapon that was ever made. It was a German gun. I can't remember the designation of it right now. It's an MP44. And then uh, once Hitler found out about the, he went behind Hitler back to make this weapon. The MP stood for machine pistol. Okay. So they don't have the time or resources to make a new white rifle. 
So they went behind his back and he showed up to the factory. He thought they were going to execute him for not obeying his orders. He liked it so much he changed the Sturmgewehr, meaning storm weapon. Okay. And that's the world's first assault rifle. Yeah. You have your pistol grip, 30 round magazine, select fire, enemy caliber. And he changed, changed it to the STG 44. Do you know what that gun's worth in our country? Well, it's worth a lot here. Here you're looking at a transferable model, you're looking at about $75,000 to $100,000. You give up your Volkswagen right here. But that is a historic piece right there. How long have you been doing this for? 12 years. What did you do before that? I was a chiropractor. How in the f do you come? How do you come from a chiropractor to doing this? I had three offices, I had a good life, four kids, and one day I had a patient who ran a place called the gun store here in Vegas, the original machine around a place. And after he told me everything they did, I said, I'm in the wrong business. My friend, it happens to us. <laughs> Mike collects cars, I collect other things. And it just bites you in the ass. And I don't know what about it is. I tell you, more for me, it's the history about this stuff. The yeah. history, yep. the history is, like you look at that German gun and you wonder, what is that thing shot? How many people has that thing killed? You know, and it kind of leaves a really kind of an uneasy feeling on you almost if you think about it too much. You just don't want to think about it too much. It's just, it's very, it's, 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 it's very interesting. There's so much history in here. The thing about it is we let people get their hands on history. Where, you know, a kid can play a video game, but here they can come in. What I've always done with the kids, too, is explain, you know, in video games, you get a med pack and you're back to health. And so I try to tell the kids, listen, you put your finger on that trigger, there's no pulling that back bullet. You know, you're not going to redo. And it's, it's, I've had so many parents who come in, they were like apprehensive about coming here initially. Yeah. But when I see these little kids, I come in and I see them, I'm talking 10, you know, 12 years old, who idolize the stuff on video games. And once they get in there, they hear the loud, the sound, the bang, the boom, and I give them a little speech about safety. It's, it, it brings them down to reality. I've seen that over the years. I've got so many what. thank yous from parents afterwards. I tell you what, I tell you, I can't, I can't imagine being out there and somebody shooting at you with this The other gun guys I was talking about, that, Jeff, that MG42, absolutely brought terror across the battlefield. When that thing went off, people would literally just piss their pants and not move, it was so frightening. Hence why they called it the buzzsaw, eh? It like it was, it was such a such a brutal, brutal gun, yeah. Until it jammed. <laughs> burst cartridge, just like that's what happened to it, eh? Yeah. Firing too much and burst a cartridge. Chambers get too hot. Here's a, here's an interesting gun right here that we never. This here's a really interesting gun. How this gun come apart or come about? That's a Lewis gun, and it was kind of shunned like a turd in a punch bowl for a whole bunch and nobody wanted it and finally somebody decided to take a chance and use it and it became become very iconic. Many guys!